Hey! Hey, stop! Get back here! Oh, Edna took the DeLorean. thought I could change her. Things could be different. Forget about it. Come on. We gotta find a way to stop her before... No, don't come any closer. Doc. Go away! Whoa. What? We... Move! Move! We changed this timeline. Holy crap. Oh my god, Doc! Say something. Chromium, lithium, potassium, iridium, titanium, ruthenium. Okay, I'll get help. Newspaper. What? You mean. You know, I realized right just now how he's dressed. Local inventor presented with key to city. I'm gonna get you to a hospital, Doc. You're gonna be okay. Yes. Oh, I think I am going to be okay, Marty. No, come on, Doc. Doc, don't do this. Don't go. But now Marty's all alone. Doc dressed like that looked like William Hartnell, Doc. the first Doctor Who. Come back. Whoa! The monster from Lost. Doc? Marty! Have you been out here the whole time? Damn it! Um, is it over already? Oh, it's over, all right. You missed a very <laughs> wild party. I'm afraid I've been banned from the expo for the next 50 years. And if I were you, I wouldn't go back in either. At least not until all the broken glass is swept up. Oh, what was I thinking? Naturally, the ionic wind generated by an electromagnet of that size is going to play havoc with a merely mechanical steering mechanism. We need a much more advanced control system. I wonder. If we could find a way to translate the body's own gravitational field into electrokinetic force, one might be able to direct the ionic current simply by shifting one's weight. Oh, great Scott, that's it! That's the doc we know. And you're, you're not discouraged? Discouraged? By what? You mean what happened in there? Oh, that was a learning experience. The way I see it, it's those little mistakes along the way that advance us along the pathway of knowledge. Come on, there's no time to lose. Let's get back to the lab and... I'm sorry, is something wrong? Uh... It's a long story. Let's just say I, uh... I lost somebody. Oh, how sad. Anyone I know? You have no idea. It was, uh, Carl Sagan. What? The guy who tried to hire me in there? You were friends with him? Strange. But how- Don't worry about it. It's got nothing to do with you. What? You're a complete mystery to me, Marty. Where you come from, what you're doing here. But there's one thing I do know. Whatever it is, it does have something to do with me. Please, Emmett, don't ask What's any- What's this? Come on, let me see. I deserve an explanation. Well... Sure, why not? Doc knows what's up. Okay, you're Or gross. Emmett, ri rather. What's that? An explanation. You've got to promise me. Don't look at it until you get the key to the city. Huh? Emmett! Just promise. Emmett! Where are you, my 
Space Hand. I'll be right there, Pop. Key to the city? I don't understand. And you can't understand. Not for a long time. It would do irreparable damage to uh, something. Just, just say you promise. Okay, I promise. That's all the way in 1986. Wait, I will see you again, right? I guarantee it. Got to go clean up his mess. Now, who's this? Hey, it worked. He l oh, okay. So, you were the same Marty. Funny how memory can play tricks on a person. I remembered you being much taller. How was the ceremony? Long. You've got a theatrical way of sending messages. The long way around. The only way I could do it without messing up your timeline. Very clever. But what are you doing in 1931? Oh. Uh, let's see here. I came to stop you from marrying Edna. Edna Strickland? I could never marry her. I mean, she was my first love, but after she broke my heart and tried to sabotage my career, I never saw her again. Never mind, it's better I don't know. Let's just get back to 1986. That is, unless your presence has caused any other time anomalies? Me? Nah, no. Well, I'm still a little confused about my... Where Holy is he? crap. Where is that no good son of mine? He's not worthy of the McFly name. You see my Artie anywhere? Artie McFly? That's the one. Just got a call from Melvin at the city records office. He tells me the dad blamed fool's gun and got himself hitched to a Canadian floozy. Can you believe it? Hitched? Married. I swear, that boy's gonna put his papa in an old grave. So that's how she got her job back. Ah! She ma married okay, her already grandma. married her. I mean, Trixie's not my grandma. And if she's not my grandma, I'm not me. Wait, that was great grandpa Willie. I met him when he was a baby. He peed on me. Oh. From Back oh, to the crap. Future 3. Uh, Doc, I'm going to disappear again. Calm down, Marty. You seem reasonably solid right now. Whatever the problem is, I'm sure we can undo it with the help of... That car! Oh, great. How the hell did she get back here? She? You? You're not Edna. What's going on here? Is this some plot to put me in the nut house? No, it's all very simple, Danny. Oh, I'm sure it is. Tell me, did I or did I not just chase Edna Strickland off in this car? Not this exact car, but a car just like it. A car with a nasty habit of disappearing into thin air? Well... Wait, Edna Strickland just disappeared in the DeLorean? If that's what you call it. It made a loud noise, and then wham! Nothing! Where'd she go? Right. God. Marty, do you have any notion what date she might have jumped to? None at all, Doc. See, that DeLorean's time circuits are out of whack. They could jump to any date at all. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Let's just hope she jumped into the future. The far future. If she's jumped into the past... You think she might mess up the time stream? Wait a minute. This is Edna. Of course she would mess up the time stream. Yeah. Uh, guys, you mind telling me what the hell you're... Uh-oh. Whoa. Olive Hill Valley's gone. 
Doc? Did we just leave Hill Valley? No, I believe Hill Valley just left us. H how? Something must have happened to it. A long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. But what did Edna do? Well, there's Willy. Well, now you two look at my lost. Hey, what on earth is that thing? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's an experimental vehicle. Pay it no mind. Look, maybe you can help us. Uh... Where exactly are we? We're a little lost. Per this point of my rounds, that's where you are. About 25 miles outside of Hayesville. Take a wrong turn, did you? In a matter of speaking. Tell us. We're looking for Hill Valley. Well, which is it? A hill or a valley? No, it's a town. It's a town called Hill Valley. Hill Valley a town? Say, I, I think I once heard that there was a town here a long time ago. Don't know much about it, though. Just as I suspected. So we're in a new alternate 1931. What happened to Hill Valley? Oh, heck, I don't know. That was all before I was born. Then whatever it was must have happened at least... 45 years ago. Nobody much cares to settle around here nowadays. My dad tried to buy a farm in this area years ago, but he got run off by Scary Mary. Scary Mary? Well, that's what we all call her. Lives a couple miles from here. I make a monthly drop at her place. She's a fiend for news. Takes all the papers in the county, never throws one away. Say, if there's anybody who could tell you what happened to Hill Valley, it's her. Can you direct us to her? It's imperative that we talk to her. Sorry, fellas, but I'm pretty sure she won't talk to you. Why won't she talk? Why wouldn't she talk to us? The thing of it is, guys, Mary's older than dirt, but she's also a little touched, if you catch my drift. She doesn't like strangers. I'm sure we can handle her. We'll be very polite. Please, we gotta see her. Well, okay, if you insist. Take a right turn just after the bridge, then follow the wheel ruts till they come to an end. You'll have to go the last quarter mile on foot. Good luck, and don't say I didn't warn you. I got a notion I'll be kicking myself for sending you up there. That's pretty cool to see uh, the baby from Back to the Future 3 as an old man. So, Scary Mary is obviously Edna. Well, it's an old western home. Kind of. Mary Pickford. I saw the cat sign. Beware of cats, I think. Ah, that's crazy. This kind of reminds me of that house from the beginning of the Lorax. Um. Hmm. Doc, it's a. Shh, shh, shh. Okay. What do you have to say about this, Doc? What do you see? This vehicle has sustained some serious damage. Way to stay focused, Doc. Now we've got an old stove. Or kind of clay thing. And there's a trip wire between the potted plants. An old saloon sign. Cool. Too bad it's all burnt. Hmm. Oh, we have it in our... Do I have it in our inventory? That's the Palace Saloon from Back to the Future 3, I think. Well, we might as well see what happens. Please don't die, Marty. Step away from the cabin! Huh? 
<laughs> Hell's bells. Pardon us for intruding, madam. We were wondering if you could tell us... I don't talk to hooligans! I'm a very friendly sort. Doc, that was Edna. Edna Strickland? Impossible. This is how she was when I first met her. I had to... Listen, just leave it to me. Okay, you think you know how to handle her. Just remember, we need to know what happened to Hill Valley, and just as importantly, the precise time when it happened. Okay. Do we have to trip the wire again? Oh, by the way, did you sh uh, did you see what was on the alarm system there? A frisbee. Awesome. I was expecting a ZZ Top cameo at any time. Very shiny. Hey, Miss Strick, who are you? Hmm. Sonny Crockett. That's a foolish name, and I make it a rule not to talk to strangers with foolish names. But we're not strangers. How do I know you? You interviewed me once, I saved your life once, you tried to have me arrested once. That probably is a long list of people. Um... I saved your life once, a long time ago, remember? Kid Tannen had you tied up. Listen, Sonny, I'm an easygoing woman, but I got a few rules I live by. And rule number one is, I never, ever talk about the past! Or the future, neither. I don't talk about any day but today. I guess that didn't go so well. Of course she doesn't talk about the past. Because there's something in her past she's trying to forget. But we're gonna pry it out of her. Go ahead, knock on the door again. Well, we've actually never knocked on the door. We've just set off the wire. It's me again, your old friend. How do I know you? Saved your life. Oh, here's a new one. We spent today together. Oh, because she doesn't talk about the past or the future. We spent the day together. We did? Where? At the expo. That's crazy. I've been here all... What day is it? Tuesday, October 13th, 1931. October 13th. 1931. October 13th. Something funny about that date. Well, what are you here for? Hmm. I know who you are. Hmm. You stole that DeLorean. What did we bring for her? I brought something for you. What is it? Let me see! Uh oh. Hmm. Doc, what are we doing? I brought you him. Him. Ho him. Him ho. Oh crap. Emmett Brown. Yeah, let's go with Emmett, just older. Look hard. Don't tell me you don't recognize your own boyfriend. My boyfriend? Yeah, he's, um, he's all grown up. Come closer, fella. Marty, what am I supposed to do? Trust me, Doc. Just go with it. Oh, this is probably so awkward for Doc, because this one is... It can't be! Emmett! Yes, Edna. It's me. Meeting your first love all over again? It is! It's October 13th, 1931! Oh, and you are Emmett! <gasps> Emmett! Uh, how did I get so turned around? H have I been dreaming? Or, or stay there! It's a classic case of repressed memory syndrome. Once the mental dam is broken, the subject is immediately plunged into the midst of the very scenes she's trying to forget. Oh. 
Oh dear. Darling, you've come back. Complete change of personality, too. Of course I knew you would. An intelligent boy like you wouldn't be one to throw away true love all because of a silly quarrel. I've already forgotten about last night's little tiff. I trust you've done the same? Of course I have. Of course I have. What? Uh, uh, uh. Baby face, sweet stuff. Schnookums. Wait, they called each other Schnookums before, I think. Let's... Go with that, maybe? Schnookums. Uh, uh, schnookums. <laughs> you're sweet. But you're still keeping company with this Smirnoff character. I insist you drop him. He's a bad influence. And you've got to stop working on that dangerous electrokinetic... What's this? Um, Okay. I suppose now you're miffed with me for forcing Detective Parker to close your booth down. Bitter medicine for you, I know, but I had to do it. And Parker had no choice but to obey my orders. He knows that my opinion carries a lot of weight in Hill Valley, and he'd never... Parker would never... Oh. Whoa. What is it? I think she broke. I don't know. Something about Detective Parker. Something that happened to me on October 13th. What could it be? Can you jog her memory? If we can keep her mind in the past, we may get the full story of Hill Valley's premature destruction. Okay, let's check out the hints here. Edna's trying to remember a traumatic incident initiated by Officer Parker. You know what that is, right? Uh, oh, no, no, not... Let's look at our inventory. What did we actually bring with us? The saloon, the flowers, the ex... The flowers! Does that still have the recording on it, though? Let's see if this works, because this is where we caught Edna in that... in her plan. Oh yeah, and revealed you herself as the arsonist. Doing anything about them. No! Turn it off, you imbecile! If Parker hears that, he'll... Officer, I can explain. It was a trick. I was framed. Oh! He's after me! What the heck? Ha! He'll never catch me in this souped-up car of the future! Curses! I can't shake him. Well, no use in holding back now. Let's see what this baby can do. And so we're... here it comes. Yes? Here what comes? I, uh, I, I don't know. Something really unexpected is supposed to happen right about now, but I'm not sure what. Oh, well, come to think of it, how can I be expecting something unexpected? At... Oh, what's going on? Quick, Marty. We've got to find a way to push the story along before she snaps out of her reverie. Man, I didn't think we'd find a version of Edna that made the one that we saw in episode one look good. Uh... Wait a minute. What about all these flashing... The flashing lights? Because we I remember I noticed that they were all sparkly. Can we set off the tripwire again? Nah. Oh, I had the item. Here they come! The lights. Nice. I'm being transported. Where? Back. So we're just going step by step here. Back to the past. What do you see? Hill Valley, but it's all different. It's so small and primitive. Heavens! Can it be? It is! Is what? Grandfather! Big as life! Marshal James Strickland, 
came to Hill Valley in 1869, shot by... Ma I know, Doc. We met him in 1885. Remember? No! I must be mistaken. Grandfather didn't look like that. That man is an imposter! I'm not even sure it is a man! This is all very confusing. Where am I? Why am I thinking about the past? Get off my lawn, you kids! Oh, that's the old Edna. Better find a way to bring back Marshall Strickland quick. We've got to bring this story to a climax. So that was actually a deleted scene from Back to the Future 3 of Marshall Strickland getting shot in the back. The morning that Doc and Marty take the train. Um... Okay. So that's supposed to be the Marshall, huh? So what do we need to look for? I wonder what's cooking. I've always wanted one of these in real life. Okay. Um, I'm not sure. I don't think so. Outhouse? Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Don't upset her, Marty. I guess this isn't the right time to be burning things. Okay, what about the mop? I'm guessing this mop doesn't get much use. Alright. What's in the outhouse? <laughs> I can wait. Good man. Well, we have got to find the right things to... Oh! There's a hat. This hat doesn't frame her face very well. Well... I get... Wait a minute, Strickland looked like Buffalo Bill Cody, didn't he, with the long hair? 